Hello everyone, this is WordPress Holder, the first YouTube channel where you can ask your WordPress questions and get your support video for free. Do not hesitate to contact me with comments under this video. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. So, today I want to show you how we can create this sticky element with the Builder. I mean, something like this one. You see, it's sticky on scroll. Yeah, and it looks really good. So. How we can make sticky any element with DV Builder? First, we should log in into our WordPress dashboard, go to the plugins, and install this plugin sticky menu or anything on scroll. Just click add new. Okay. And in search, type sticky menu or anything. And click install and activate it. I already have it installed, so for me nothing to do. Great. After we should go to the settings for this plugin. Okay. And in the basic settings tab, we should, it's already filled for me, I it will be empty for you, but I will show you step by step. First, you should create the ID for the sticky element. For example, sticky. Don't forget to type hashtag. So it should be your ID. It can be anything. Okay. After you should add space between the space. You see top of browser and element. Okay. After you should write here this number. number. Uh, this means that uh, it will not be sticky on mobile or tablets. So if I will make like this, okay, you see it's not sticky. Great. After, you should go to the advanced settings in the Z index type, something like 9999, and push up element should be something, uh, some ID where it should stop to be sticky. In my case, it's sticky stop, but you can write something like stop or that's it. It's open to you. Okay, after that, click save changes. Cool, this is half of a job. After you should click enable visual builder. It's loading, so let's wait. Great. After, you should add the sticky ID to the element you want to make st sticky. Like, in my case, I might stick this column. So I will go to the column, row, to the column, go to the advanced, CSS ID, and add the same ID when which you added here. Okay? So, by this way, we made this element sticky, this column, I mean. But you can add this ID to any element like this, or this, or this one. Okay. And other ID, the sticky stop, we should add to this row. Advanced, sticky stop. Uh, make sure this is without hashtag and here should be with hashtag. Okay, and click save. So, ID sticky, make element sticky on scroll. And ID sticky stop, in my case, because I added it, made uh, it stop. Okay, it's like full stop. After click save, and let's see how it works more closer. I will refresh the page to make sure all good. So this is our space, 50 pixels. This is our ID sticky start here. And as you can see, it's sticky. And here we added sticky stop ID. So it doesn't scroll down. If there will not be stop ID, uh, it will scroll down to the footer and over all these elements and it doesn't work. So we somewhere should stop it. Uh, in, if you want uh, to make it sticky 
down to the page, just add stop ID to the footer or somewhere in the button here, anyway, it's open to you. So hope this video helps you and if so, like this video or leave some comments and don't forget to subscribe. So have a good day and bye.